everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Let's Play. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day on the fourth episode and a massive thank you once again for the crazy support you guys have been showing this series. I really, really do appreciate it my friends. So, in today's episode we're actually going to be heading to the Crimson because I would like to get myself a gun. That being the Undertaker, of course. And by getting that, we should be able to get the arms dealer to spawn in. And as a result of doing that, we can get ourselves a mini shark. Now, the mini shark, of course, is very, very useful for taking down Queen Bee. And Queen Bee has got many, many good weapons in her disposal, in her repertoire, whatever you want to say. So, yeah, it's going to be a good time. So, 11 silver coins. I could do with a little bit more, to be honest with you guys. Could I potentially sell any of this stuff? Um... Good question, actually. Uh, I could maybe sell the grenades. I mean, I don't really have that many valuable things, to be honest with you guys. I mean, I've got some tin here. I don't know, man. I I'm kind of wanting to keep all of this stuff. Mining potions? Healing potions? Like, pff, I don't know, dude. All I want to do... 45 copper. Wow. How generous. There we go. We have a grand total of four bombs. Oh, my word. Guys, four bombs. Last of the big spenders, huh? <laughs> Okay, so we're looking good. We're looking good. So, the first thing I want to do in today's episode, though, is disprove a theory that you guys have been, uh, you know, ranting about in the comments area. Especially in the last episode, I saw a lot of people saying that there was an enchanted sword shrine beneath this, uh, beneath the beach. So, let's grab out the sand blocks. I don't even have to go down there to tell you guys that I, that it's not a freaking shrine. I mean, look. There is a tiny, tiny bit of brown at the bottom there, which means, of course, there is land down there. So, let's go ahead and do this, just so we can silence those people, I guess. Uh, but, uh, yeah, everything's looking good. Uh, we'll get you put in there, and, yeah, this fish is about to fall down. Yeah, look at that, guys. Look at that. Disproven. This place does not have anything in it, so, yeah, it's all good. There is no shrine here, so all is well. What I'm hoping for, guys, what I'm hoping for is, obviously, the Undertaker. You're going to get that guaranteed as your first drop. But what I'd also like to try and get, guys, is probably the Sweetheart Necklace. Or maybe even the Crimson Rod. Sweetheart Necklace, Crimson Rod, they're both pretty darn good, aren't they? So, I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. Hey, I love the fact that I can just take everyone out, like instantly now it's fantastic oh look there's a goldfish there lovely little goldfish hello get wrecked thank you for the gel i appreciate it actually i love the crimson music <laughs> it's so good all right so here we go my friends we're about to enter the underground section of the crimson biome now of course we do still need to be careful we've got very low defense therefore we could get killed Fairly quickly here, my friends. I've also got to be careful of my torch supply because I don't have many. Hmm, okay. Right. Uh, whoa! Okay, that goes down a long way. Jeez, dude. I might struggle to. Oh, I didn't bring any recall potions with me. Python! You dumbo! Oh, no. Well, the only way I could probably get out of here, in which case, is by dying. And, you know, dying unnecessarily isn't really something I like doing, to be quite honest with you guys, but. You know, it's just one of those things. Right, so then, question is, is there going to be any heart crystals? Is there going to be anything at all which is going to help us in our pursuit for epicness? Um, getting rid of this boulder is probably a good idea. <laughs> oh, gosh, right, and boof, there you go, looking good. Right, sadly, we've only got one torch, so we're going to have to try and use this thing to... Well, actually, we could use the enchanted sword for light, I guess. Could I maybe get up here and put a bomb down? Boom. Oh my god, that actually worked. Hey! Cool, right! There's the Undertaker, ladies and gentlemen, and there also is a meteorite. Hey, we're looking good, guys. We got a meteorite. We could get ourselves our first mage set if we really wanted to. But we're going to need ourselves a lot more money because probably the easiest way of doing everything right now is by exploding stuff. So, I mean, if we really wanted to, we could try and find the meteorite and therefore bomb it and then get some cool stuff that way. But, like I say, I'm not in any kind of rush, not by any stretch of the imagination. I just wanted the gun, really. Uh, so, we're going to get that put on the end there. And, yeah, we've got 100 bullets. And, yeah, I just really wanted to get the uh, dude to spawn in, the arms dealer, because he's pretty dang useful 
in a universal sense, like, he's got so many useful things. There we go. Ooh, that's a lot of dudes. Hello! Come on, then! Come on, that's one, that's two, that's three. Ah, that's four. And a final one, that is five. All right, and um, there's six and seven, apparently. Okay, well... This is great, isn't it? Get wrecked, you freaking butt. Right, let's go ahead and uh, put down a bunch of ropes here. Uh, there's another spider right there. Get out of it. Oh, what? How did that miss? Unbelievable. There you go. Looking good. Oh, and another one. All right, what's down here? Let's just have a little look-see, shall we? All right, let's bring in the sword again. Oh, my God. You see, the sooner we start gathering up a bit of a collection of vertebrae, I feel like the better things are going to be, right? Because vertebrae, especially later in the series, are probably going to be quite freaking useful, to be honest with you. Uh, right, let's get up here, though. We're looking for heart crystals, guys. Our first ever life crystal of the series. It would be nice to try and find one. It really, really would. Okay, let's go and break ourselves our second orb here. Or heart. Orbs are in the freaking corruption biome, aren't they? So, yeah. Uh, right, let's get you put down there. Uh, that should blow that one up. Or not. Well, it'll blow up an axis to it, I guess. Get wrecked, and what have we got? Hey, Crimson Heart! Okay. I mean, we've got ourselves a little sort of permanent life source. Life source? Light source. There you go. Hmm, okay. Cool. Do you know what would be cool, guys? Do you know what would be cool? Is if you could spawn a random potion from a statue... Would that be a bit overpowered, though? I feel like that would be majorly overpowered, to be honest with you guys. So, yeah, maybe that's not such a great idea. But, I don't know. Maybe it only has, like, a certain chance of spawning a potion from the statue? What do you guys think? I don't know, man. I feel like it would be a bit overpowered if that was a thing. But it would still be cool, nonetheless. <laughs> All right. So... Believe it or not, guys, this is not the only underground crimson section. There is, in fact, another one just to our left here. So, I think it would be a nice idea if we went ahead and we got out of here. We're going to get out of this one. We're going to go to the secondary crimson biome. And we are going to see if we can find ourselves some life crystals. Yes, sounds like a good idea. In the meantime, we need to get out of here. And that might be easier said than done, to be honest with you guys. So, yeah, there's a wormy around here as well. Mr. Wormy, come on. I'll be ready for you. I don't know where he is. He's like under here somewhere. Oh, here he comes. Oh, get wrecked. Oh, my goodness me. You just got absolutely bamboozled. We've got 74 silver coins. We could buy a whole bunch more bombs if we really wanted to. Uh, but, you know, at the moment, we're just exploring the crimson. So, yeah. Oh, my gosh. This could this could be very, very dangerous. Like, it would not take much for us to die on this stuff. Uh, we got any blocks here? I mean, yeah, we do. What a great deal, though. Here you go. Uh, can I can I reach that? Okay, well, we're going to make ourselves a bit of a lattice here. Huh. Yep, there we go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there's meteor heads everywhere. Hello. Go on, then. I'm ready for you. <laughs> this reminds me of one of those freaking obstacle courses that you find in army training grounds. Like, it's just a massive lattice of rope. <laughs> Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, we made it past that. Huh. Interesting. I kind of like it how we've got a meteor biome, like, on this side of the world. Like, I wasn't expected to find it so quickly, but there you go, my friends. Weirder things have happened. They really, really have. Okay. The bad news is we still don't have a great deal of torches, so we're going to have to try and use our enchanted sword. Oh, there's a chest down there. We could probably go get that in just a minute. But for now, we're going to see if we can find ourselves some heart crystals. Because I would love some. I really, really would. So, there we go. Uh, more shurikens. Okay. Anything else? There's a death weed there that's not fully grown yet. So, there's no point in digging it up. There's a lot of altars, dude. This is amazing. There's a pretty serious amount of altars. Hey, there we go. There's the arms dealer as well. And 120 max life. Nice. Guys, we're making serious progress. Uh, the bad news is we don't have a whole lot of rope left. We might wind, we might wind up running out here. Uh, there you go. Get destroyed. The good news is it's not that difficult to get rope. You can either get it from vases or you can also get it from the merchant. You can just buy it. Um, so that's pretty cool. Oh, there we go. Oh, another one. Hey. 
Not bad. Not bad, guys. Not freaking bad. Dude, there's so many statues around here. Look at that. There's an Eater of Souls statue. I wonder if you could summon an Eater of Souls from this. Or is it Eater of Worlds? Corrupt statue. I'd be interested in knowing if you could spawn something from that. Because by doing that, we could potentially get ourselves rotten chunks, right? That would be a cool idea to have both types of evil on the same world. Like, you could get yourself a statue of the alternate type of evil and then therefore go from there, right? That's a really cool idea. Well, I don't know if we logic are watching this video, but there you go. Suggestion. You know, I mean, obviously, you need to credit me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding with you. I'm kidding with you. Right, so here we go. There's an area up here. We have indeed got ourselves more ropes, which is brilliant. All right, there we go. All right, a uh, bunch more spitters that just got absolutely bamboozled. And there we go. All right, was there anything else? I mean, there's an area down here. There might, there's a possibility there might be a life crystal, but I don't hold out too much hope, guys. Right, uh, should we go up here? Again, there's always the possibility, my friends. It's always worth checking. It really, really is. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode so far. Like I say, not really editing too much out of this series. So, you guys are experiencing the danger with me. Oh, yes, you are. It is very dangerous. These biomes, especially when you've got three defense. Yes, it is. Uh, it's quite dangerous. <laughs> Oh, my word. If we really wanted to, we really actually could skip straight up to Meteorite. Uh, I know we said we weren't going to rush, but honestly, like, the amount of defense increase we could get from doing that would be absolutely insane. Like, genuinely, it would be. It would be nuts. Uh, right, we can't get over there. I think we might need ourselves another little... Oh, jeez, man. Might need ourselves another little rope lattice. There we go. <clears throat> Go on. I will destroy you, sir. There you go. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm so smart. Oh, jeez, man. Well, I'm not so smart for not bringing freaking potions with me. Because I do have some. I'm a bit of a dumbo for not bringing them, to be honest with you guys. But uh, hey-ho, there we go. Alrighty, guys. So we've escaped from that underground section. Let's go ahead up here. Oh, oh, those parkour skills, though. What have we got? A wooden boomerang and some more nades. A builder potion. That's pretty useful, actually. Because, you know, I am doing building in this series. So it makes sense to have these things. All right, let's get back out of here. There we go. Can I get up there? No, I cannot. Right, uh, I might just dig that out, in which case... Oh, God. Okay. Oh, I thought I was about to get absolutely schmung dingled there, but we're okay, guys. There we go. Looking good. Right. Uh, I mean, is there a possibility we missed any chests? I mean, I don't think so. Hmm. I just had a good idea, though, guys. You know what we were saying about trying to find Sky Islands? Now that we have Meteorite, we could potentially make Meteor shots. And basically, how you do it is you use a gun... You shoot up the meteor shot, and if there is a sky island above you, the bullet will ricochet off the island and then come back down to the surface. Whereas with regular bullets, they will just dissipate upon hitting something, right? So, we've got four bombs, and to be honest, this is, this is definitely worth doing. So, yeah. We're not even going for gear at this point. We are going for bullets. So, boof. There you go. And uh, we'll have another one just down there. There we go. Oh, gosh. And one down there. Yeah. The only thing is... Uh, okay, no, we can make that. Yeah, there we go. Looking good, looking good. Right, and all we got to do now is get out. Uh, maybe we go out this way. Yes. Yes, Python, you are a genius. Ooh, guys, check it out. One of the other good things about setting up on the outskirts of the world is you get the little goblin scouts coming every now and again. Uh, now, I don't think I've ever made a goblin battle standard, so I believe we need 10 of these bad boys. Oh, look, there's another one. Ow, awesome. The more tactic cloth we get, the more amount of times we can summon in the goblin invasion, which is pretty cool, I guess. Oh, yeah. Well, hello there, Malik the Arms Dealer. We are looking for a bunch of bullets. A mini shark costs 35 gold, which in pre-hard mode, normal mode, it is actually a fairly hefty amount of money. So it's going to take a fair amount of, uh, you know, saving up to get that. But it's going to be worth it, guys. Right, 140 musket balls. I do believe you get 70 meteor shots per time. I could be mistaken. Uh, that is always a possibility. But I don't think I am. 
Uh, so, anyways, while we are continuing back to base, we'll jump into the common question of the video, which for today comes from LSD, who says you should have a balcony going out over the water going from the balcony. So, basically, what he's saying is, uh, you know, we've got our beach house over here. Oh, wow, look at all the palm trees. So, yeah, we've got ourselves a bunch of stuff going on. Um, he's basically saying that what we should do is have some sort of balcony. But the only thing is, uh, the only place we can really have a balcony is coming off the roof here. And I don't really know how that would work. I mean, we could maybe make a door here, have it go out over the top a little bit, and then have a little bit of a pier. That could be a cool idea. I kind of like that. Yeah, I kind of like that a lot, actually. All right. Well, anyways, uh, yep, there's the vicious powder, and there are the meteorite bars. How many? Uh, 21. And there's a bunch of lead. All right. And here's the bullets. So, yep, you do get 70 per time. Fantastic. So I was bang on with my estimate. Uh, which is absolutely fantastic. All right, looking good, looking good. So, guys, like I say, we're going to be looking for a Sky Island. So all we got to do is go to random places in the world, shoot it up, and then if the bullet comes back down, then there is a Sky Island above us. So, yeah, I'm going to go, like, I don't know, 30 blocks, because the Sky Islands aren't... Well, they're fairly wide, actually. It'll be pretty difficult to miss a Sky Island, to be honest with you. So, yeah. Alrighty, so let's keep going. We'll shoot one up there. And I tell you what, there's a whole bunch of worms. Yeah. Bait, please. I tell you what, I swear to God, it has rained more than it's not rained on this world so far. I feel like that's pretty insane. <laughs> oh, a gold worm. Hey, guys, we can start collecting all of the gold critters. That's amazing. 50% bait power. I'm pretty sure there's nothing that has more bait power than golden critters or golden worms, or whatever you want to be using. So, that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, good day to you, Mr. Eyeball. But yeah, there we go, my friends. Got ourselves a ton of rope. And yeah, like I say, let's go for a little bit of a Sky Island hunting session. Oh, yeah. Oh, guys, did you see that? The bullets ricocheted off, and they came back down, which means there is a Sky Island right above us. Okay, so, I mean, all we can do is start setting up... Oh, jeez, man. Ooh, okay, that's still a lot of guys. Yep, there we go. Uh, yeah, all we can do is set up a big old rope ladder. Um, kind of like Jack and the Beanstalk, isn't it? We're going right up to the skies, guys. And I'm hoping that this is going to be an actual sky island and not just a sky lake. Although a sky lake is still pretty darn useful. So, you know, I'm not going to be heartbroken if we get one of those. Yeah, look at that. Get wrecked, son. Right. Uh, what is it? Is it a regular one? It is a sky lake, I think. I'm pretty convinced that's a sky lake. Uh, yes, it is. Okay, cool. Right, so if we manage to get ourselves any more fishing quests at a sky lake, we can... Oh, uh, uh. no, 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 stop it, you freaking jerk. God damn, those guys were like proper kamikaze me, bunch of fools. Right, but yeah, like I was saying, if we manage to get ourselves any more fishing quests that involve sky lakes, then we can actually do them, which I guess is pretty cool. All right, not bad, not bad. And there we go, my friends. Sky Lake has now got access. fan freaking fantastic, guys. All right, so, yeah, like I say, if we manage to uh, get ourselves any more fishing quests that involve Sky Lakes, then we can actually do the quests, which is always a nice thing to have happen. All right, oh, jeez, there's a whole bunch of harpies around here. Ooh, okay, this could be quite dangerous, actually, because those guys, even in normal mode, do a decent amount of damage. Ooh, okay, I think we... Ooh, let's go home. <laughs> Oh, jeez, dude. Wow, those guys are a little bit treacherous, actually. Good lord above. Right, okay. So, yeah. All right, so we got ourselves a sky lake, which I guess is kind of cool. But it's not quite a regular sky island, is it, guys? I still want to try and find a regular sky island. So, uh, I mean, I guess we're going back to the crimson. Yeah, all right. Boop. There you go. Fantastic. All right, guys, let's keep going. We're going to keep looking for a proper sky island. Oh, guys, I just had another ricochet. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so uh, let's do ourselves a, another little rope beanstalk thing. Oh, gosh, dude. Right, and I guess while we're doing this, I was talking about previously how we've got some of the best pre hard mode weapons in the game, right? But I'd be interested in knowing from you guys. My question of the video to you guys is what is your favorite pre hard mode weapon in Terraria? Oh, God, jeez, hell. Holy Lord. Okay, right, we've got to be careful with that crap, dude. Right, boom. Because we could die fairly easily, especially with all those Chimeras coming up. But yeah, I'd be interested in knowing what your guys' favourite pre-hard mode weapon is. Is it the Star Cannon? We've got the 
bee's knees, you've got the beekeeper, you've got the enchanted sword, water bolt. There's so many weapons to be hard, mate. But like I say, I'm interested to know what your guys' favourite one is and for what reason. Because, you know, it might just shape what we go for in terms of this series. Who knows, man? Who knows? Anyway, so here we go. This is indeed a proper Sky Island with a house on it. I am hoping for a lucky horseshoe. I think that would be absolutely fantastic. Oh god, there's a bunch of harpies freaking protecting the place with their lives though. Oh gosh. If we're not careful, this could be our demise in today's episode. I'm hoping not, of course. Uh, let's keep going though. So there's a bunch of ropes so we can get up and down. We do still have recoil potions so we can get out if we need to quickly. Uh, and yeah. Little bit of light and we're going. We're going for it, guys. Okay, bad start. Ugh. Okay, all we've got to do is get in the house. There we go. Fantastic. We made it, guys. We good. What is it? Hey, Star Fury. You can never go wrong with a Star Fury. Not bad at all. And we have a nurse. Wait, where could the... Oh. She literally is an angel who fell from the sky. Madeline. Oh, my word. Right, everybody, we need to worship Madeline. She is, like, the literal definition of an angel. Did you guys actually see that? Like, on the minimap, she, she fell down from the sky. That's hilarious. All right. <laughs> okay, and get out of it. There we go. Hey, we're looking good. We're looking super good, guys. We're looking super good. So there's the Star Fury looking very, very nice, if I do say so myself. Um, maybe what we could do is take that off. I mean, it is technically a utility thing. So if we need it, we'll just grab it out whenever we, like, actually need it, I guess. So, yeah. But, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, we are actually going to go ahead and end this episode here. We've done some pretty cool stuff. We've gone to the Cur... Cur... Cur I almost called it a corruption. We've been to two Crimsons. Got increased health, and we found Skylands, which is fan freaking fantastic. So, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure to drop a like rating, as it'll really help out myself, the channel, and the video. It would mean the world to me if you did. Hit the subscribe button, ding that bell as well, if you don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, it's time for me to head off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, as always. And I'll see you guys in the next one.